Hi there, this is Andrew Brody with Yoka Gala, and I'm going to do a, a quick video here on the visualization editor or the edit module for Fast Tools. This is where you can go ahead and uh, build up your screen. So, what we're showing here is a sample visualization, and just kind of quickly showed there by quickling on the object, you can kind of see the properties over in the right panel. And now we're taking a look at all the different type of pre built symbols that are available for use. Okay, once we do that, we're going to take a look into the layer capabilities here. And the layer capabilities kind of show you how we can zoom in. And if you take a look uh, center bottom, you can kind of see all the layers that are being displayed. So something like this can be done with uh, Google Maps integration or it can be done with static images for each layer. And then we can kind of zoom in. And then you can kind of see how we're setting visibility for each layer down there and being able to kind of zoom in to the appropriate. On this screen here, what we're taking a look at all the different ways you can interact. So we're seeing check boxes, radio buttons, selection fields, sliders, vertical, horizontal, date. We're seeing scales, curves, straight line, various different texts, various different gradient fields. Now we're going to move on to probably a more uh, typical screen that we might see in here. And this is what we're taking a look at. It's kind of like a wellhead system. So right there, we're seeing a trend object, and you can see that there's various pens set up. Now we're going to actually take a look at some of the uh, features of it. So by right-clicking on the trend, we can go ahead and take a look at all the various properties, like your time axis, your headers, your footers, your pens that you're associating with the trend. And then uh, one of the terms you might hear when referring to fast tools is the... Uh, Displays are sometimes called uh, mimics, and what they're trying to do here is uh, create a new mimic. Looks like that uh, original name was already taken, so we slightly edited it to go ahead and give a new name. But this is kind of what a blank screen might look like. What we're going to show here is just putting down some actual uh, basic graphics and then doing some work such as uh, copy and paste. We're going to do a connector here to show how we can kind of connect up the objects. And you can see over in the right-hand side, there's actually a uh, pane that's kind of tracking all the properties. What we can do is we can click on that connector and uh, switch it over to our orthogonal. And so you can kind of see that the connector now goes more in uh, straight line connections. And what we're going to show here is how kind of clicking on the edge of an object, we can go ahead and round an object. We're going to show how we can kind of basically merge a couple objects to get like the object that you're looking for. So in this case, we're picking two objects. We're going to go ahead and right click on it, do shaping, and then kind of do a subtract intersect. In this case, we're going to do a unite. You can see how we built a kind of a object out of uh, two objects 